round three, the tiebreaker. Once again, here with me, Hero, Michael, and Joseph. Um, I didn't bring a change up this time. I thought the last team did all right. I didn't want to bring anything too creepy, too scary. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I don't think I have anything that's too scary, as I don't run like OP them. But Hero brought his Kangaskhan, his Charizard, his Rotom, his Talonflame, his Greninja, and his Vavilion. So looking pretty similar there. Michael, looks like Michael brought all the same pokes. Joseph brought a Glaceon this time instead of Blastoise. Um, as such, I'm going to lead Mega Metacham. Because um, I'm looking through and it's like Anorith, the, the Bug Rock is about the only thing I don't want to see lead from him there. Um, I'm going to bring Metacham, Mew, and Mian Shao. I feel like they're my three hardest hitters. Um, granted, the Metacham and the Mew are not going to like that, uh, that Umbreon over there. But I'm going to see what goes down. I'm sure Umbreon came this time. Um, I don't know what kind of Umbreon it is, but I know it's Wall. I mean, it's got to be a Wall. It's what Umbreon does. So... Me and Hero, what's Hero leading with? I have no idea. I'm hoping that it's something that's just plain nasty. Kiritsu? I hope I'm saying that right. Oh, he's leading with his Kangaskhan. I'm leading with my Metacham. Um, as Magnezone and Cheyenne come in. Now, I'm going to Mega Evolve and Brick Break Cheyenne. Um, that's just, that's what I see as the best call. I'm sure the Kangaskhan's gonna Mega Evolve and do some things here, but I'm not really too terribly concerned with Magnezone yet, as I don't, I, I haven't seen what it really, really wants to do. Because I'm sure, like, I know it's a special attacker. It's probably the special attacker. Um, but I do have Mianxiao hiding in the wings if he decides to take out my Metacham. So, Cheyenne comes back, and out goes something that resists. Walter. Walter's Quagsire. Quagsire is probably not going to mind this one bit. As Kangaskhan Mega evolves into the most <laughs> interesting and most OP normal type. I, I can definitely say that. Um, in my opinion, Arceus has nothing on that thing. Uh, as Metacham Megas. So we've got two Megas in. I feel really dirty and cheap for this. Fake out happens against the Quagsire, so I'm guessing that the Magnezone is definitely attacking. I'm going to Brick Break the Quagsire, do a decent chunk of damage. Um, he's going to bolt my Metacham, and the Leftovers recovery is going to happen on the Quagsire. So, I am actually going to hit the Magnezone now. I'm going to Brick Break the Magnezone. I'm going to get some damage off on both, so that no matter what he's hitting with the Kangaskhan, something's dead. Um, and I mean, the Quagsire, he might have something better for the Quagsire, as I really don't have anything great for it. Um, we're going to find out, that's for sure. But, Metacham, look at him hopping around, just ready to get some kicks off. Um, Metacham has, has got some, some things going down over here with its meditating ways. Um, I'm kind of worried about the Magnezone, honestly. I don't know what the Magnezone wants to do. I also don't know why it took me as a bigger threat than Kangaskhan. As Kangaskhan is... Ugh. Ugh. Earthquake goes down. Oh! Oh, that's going to kill my Metacham. I mean, it's going to kill almost everything, but it kills my Metacham. Why, Hero? Why? So, my Metacham goes down. Walter recovers. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Because I know that Quagsire is going to be immune to the charge beam. Quagsire is... Me and Shao, me and Shao, you got anything nifty here for that? No. Um, so out comes my Mian Shao. I have no flyers, so if he's going to EQ, the EQ is just going to have to happen. Um... As I am actually going to... Hmm. Hmm. 
I'm pretty sure the Quagsire is only weak to grass, and I brought no grass whatsoever. Um, I'll just go ahead and drain punch the Magnezone, and hope that my teammate doesn't EQ again. As he sucker punches, um, alright, so the Magnezone's down. I'm sure Quagsire is doing some things. Probably a Swagger. I know a lot of people like to run the Unaware Quagsire with Swagger. Um, but it's not a Swagger. That is another healing move. Okay, so no answer for the Quagsire right now. Um, really interested in what's going on here. I don't know if Hero knows what's going on here with this, uh, with this thing. Now, do I have things for the bug? It's going to take neutral from Drain Punch. I'm tempted to neutral Drain Punch it. I'm going to neutral drain punch it. Um, the drain punch, the draining part of that really doesn't help as me and Xiao is going to hit first. I mean, right, actually no, it'll hit before King's Gun. Um, I'm really worried about what Walter wants to do. As Bubbles isn't really a huge threat, in my opinion. I mean, I don't know, maybe Anderth runs something that I haven't seen. Um, the drain punch happens... It doesn't hurt nearly as much as I wanted. Power-up punch happens. That's probably just uh, a good old time for that Kangaskhan over there. As now Kangaskhan's going to terrify everything that's in. Bubbles runs a knockoff against my Mian Shao. So the expert belt's gone. Not that it mattered there at all. Um, Walter scalds. I'm guessing the Kangaskhan. Yeah, I would scald the Kangaskhan. Got the burn off. Okay. So... It's going to lefty recover. You know what? I'm actually thinking about U-turning here as... Yeah, I'm going to U-turn. I'm going to U-turn. Because there's no excuse to use a bug-type attack at all ever right now. Um, except it'll give me a little bit of damage off and it gets me out into Mew. As I'm pretty sure the Anorith will not enjoy the Scald. Now... He does, in fact, not resist. Okay. So I got as much damage off as I really could there. I'm going to go into Mew. Um, I'm going to change things up a little bit and get rid of Bubbles. As Bubbles stone edges. I'm not sure exactly what Bubbles was aiming for there. Walter scalds the Kangaskhan. Oh, no, my Mew. Huh. My Mew got the burn. It doesn't really matter that much aside from oh the Synchronize. Hmm. Was not thinking about that. So that takes out the leftover recovery from the Quagsire. So it's just going to keep on healing anyway. Um, we're all just going to take the burn damage together. Now, I'm definitely going for a Scald on this Bubbles. On this Bubbles. On this Anorith. Um, as I do not want it around anymore. I don't. I don't want it around. I know I said it doesn't have anything threatening, but I, having a Pokemon in that's still hitting is threatening enough for me. Um, my Mew will go down within the next two turns if it's unhit. Kangaskhan will go down at the end of this turn if it's unhit. So they could buff. Quagsire could buff. Quagsire could buff its tail off. Um, I don't know if Quagsire's tail does in fact come off or not, but it could try. Um, I was just saying, I'm really shocked that there is no uh, no swagger going down here with that Quagsire. It might not be an unaware Quagsire, but that is, um, even though I mean that's horridly, horridly always run, it might not be what's going on there, specifically. Because I tend not to think about that. Uh, there's Gardevoir. Bubbles is going to Aqua Jet my Mew. Nope, Kangaskhan. Takes the Kangaskhan out. Mew's going to take the Anorith out. Um, not really certain, um, what Gardevoir wants to do with Mew. Let's see here, Gardevoir, Fairy Psychic, um, not really my ideal opponent, as I'm sure it's probably a Mega. Oh, there's Gyarados, also probably a Mega. Um, my Mian Shao has very little for these guys. Um, as my last attack, I'm going to hope that my Mew outspeeds for the Charge Beam. 
Uh, I really want my Mew to get this charge beam off. As I know it's going to die, but Gyarados hates, hates electric. So, Gyarados is Mega Evolving. Gyarados is going to be faster. So the real question is, does anybody hit Mew? Or do they let it go down to the burn? Um, I guess it depends on whether or not they recall or have ever seen the charge beam. Um, Shadow Ball. Gardevoir is not going to appreciate that. Not one bit. Use a Psychic. I'm guessing on the Rotom. Yep. So Rotom takes a hit. Yes! Yes! Go down, Gyarados! Oh, but it's a Mega Gyarados. Duh. Um, it Dragon Dances. In my face. Um, it's going to be faster than Mew now. Period. Um, Mew goes down to the burn, as predicted. Um, I'm going to go out and Mew and Shao, obviously. I have nothing else left. And I'm going to toss the rocks at this Gyarados. It's really my only option. Um... I know Gardevoir is going to be able to kill Mian Shao, but Mian Shao will get a hit off before it goes down. As Gyarados is not, at least I, it's not a flying type anymore. Oh my god. Oh, oh that was dumb. Okay. So away goes Gardevoir. Why would Gardevoir go away? What would Gardevoir not enjoy this for? Gyarados Waterfalls, probably my Mian Fu, or my Mian Shao. Um, for a, oh, a dead Mian Shao. Ouch! Must have forgotten about the Dragon Dance, huh? Um, so it's all up to Rotom, I believe. Rotom is the team's last hope. So, Rotom... Is Rotom the team's last hope? Kangaskhan went down. Rotom came out. No, Rotom's not the team's last hope. Maybe. Maybe not. I could be wrong. Um... We're going to find out, that's for sure. Oh, so it's not the last one left. He goes out into Vanilla. Vanilla is his Talonflame. Gyarados goes for the Stone Edge. Predicting the switch? Or... Or getting off damage on Rotom? Either way it goes. Alright, so, count it up. Me and Hero have gone down 1-2. to two. Um... But however, I will say, great group of multi-battles. It was fun. Um, I would like to do this again sometime. Maybe, maybe this week? I don't know. I might run just like a multi-battle bonus battle week this week. I don't know yet. Um, but I did enjoy myself. Now, you guys, don't forget to drop your likes, comments down below. Um, especially since Throwback Thursday will be tomorrow. And I want to bring the Gen 4 team. I want to bring it really bad. Um, now, you guys have a good night, and I will see you with the live update soon. Oh, yeah, I guess this video is not quite over yet. Um, as the Rotom takes down the Gyarados. Wow, count my chickens right before... All right, there we go. Team down. Okay. Um, oh, and don't forget to watch Dyke's live video for the new Wednesday action, as I am bringing the announcement for... Uh, what I'm doing on Wednesdays after we get the Throwback Thursdays rolling. Um, that'll be coming up tonight. And I will see you guys then.